photovoltaic process uses light energy from the sun. The potential is amazing. Sunlight delivers 1,000 watts of potential electrical energy in every square meter of the Earth's surface. The term used to describe the potential is insulation, which means the measure of solar radiation energy received on a given surface area in a given time. Photovoltaic systems use solar panels. Solar panels have no moving parts. If a solar panel is placed in sunlight, electricity is produced. Photovoltaic process can only produce direct current. Photovoltaic process is made possible by semiconductors. Photovoltaic cells are made of silicon. However, silicon is an insulator. Chemists and chemical engineers have learned how to use the conductive characteristics of the elements in the periodic table to alter the conductivity of silicon. The alteration makes silicon a semiconductor. We know from physics that the conduction of electrical energy can be controlled by managing the dimension and characteristics of the gaps where electrons move. Materials that have large energy gaps do not conduct electrical energy. They're called insulators. Materials that have energy gaps that overlap conduct electricity. They're called conductors. Photovoltaic semiconductors have a gap that allows electrons to move when they are excited by the sun's light energy. Light from the sun excites electrons in silicon that has been doped with metals to create a material that lets excited electrons move. Adding phosphorus, arsenic, or antimony to silicon produces a N-type semiconductor material where the electrons in the outermost shell react to light energy. Adding gallium, indium, or boron to silicon produces a P-type semiconductor material with extra holes in the outermost shell that can receive electrons. The quality of photovoltaic process is the result of engineers applying the principles of physical science to create materials that use energy from our sun's spectrum of light to produce electricity. The photovoltaic cell is the foundation invention that allows the process to take place. The primary challenge in the conversion of American energy sources from fossil fuels to solar power is related directly to the efficiency of photovoltaic cell manufacture. Students discovered the next challenge for engineers is to reduce the cost of manufacture of photovoltaic cells and in parallel increase the sunlight to electricity conversion capability of each cell manufactured.